Welcome to all of you celebrating the European Day of Persons with Disabilities. Let me begin with a personal memory. In my life and through my work, I get to meet many outstanding people, men and women, who with their commitment have changed for the better the life of many others. One of them is Dr. Karl-Heinz Miederer. I met him years ago when I was Minister of Social Affairs. Dr. Miederer is a psychologist who lived on a wheelchair since the age of 10. With his team, he helps persons with disability learn a job that fulfills their aspirations and many, many other things. When I met him, he told me what persons with disabilities want is to be part of society, just like everyone else. We should all be the masters of our own life. For persons with disabilities, it can be difficult to find a new job. They are constantly confronted with barriers that sometimes are simply insurmountable. And this should not be so. Persons with disabilities have the right to have good conditions in the workplace, to live independently, to equal opportunities, to participate fully in the life of their community. All have a right to a life without barriers. And it is our obligation as a community to ensure their full participation in society on an equal basis with others. This is true for all people, whatever the personal story may be. Almost one in four Europeans is a person with disability. Millions of people, young and old. Many of you are here today. And it is you we have to listen to when shaping our future commitments and actions. This year, life has been harder because of the pandemic. For some, it is very hard to follow an online lesson or to receive the health care they need in the middle of a lockdown. The pandemic has highlighted inequalities that already existed. For example, in the access to education, to health care and to essential support services. Our new recovery plan, Next Generation EU, can help us shape a more inclusive economy and society. When pushing forward the green and the digital transitions, this is also a great opportunity and chance to remove existing barriers, for example, in our buildings or in education, in healthcare and in the jobs market or the European Green Deal renovation wave, for example, can pave the way for more accessible buildings. And we will invest in skills and infrastructure for all Europeans, all included. Everyone should enjoy the same rights. Equality and non-discrimination are fundamental values set out in our treaties. And this is the European Union that I want the union that we are working to build. And there is progress, even in these difficult circumstances. Today we celebrate European cities that have taken to heart the rights of their citizens. Last year's award went to Warsaw. The city worked closely with persons with disability to make it a better place to live. In Warsaw, for instance, all metro stations are now fully accessible. Now, you will learn this afternoon who is the winner of this year's Access City Award. These are cities that strive to work for their people, cities that all of their citizens can call home, where everyone can have a full life. These cities are models for all of us. They are a reminder that even the most long-standing barriers and prejudices 
can be tore down. Ten years ago, the European Union ratified the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. It was the first human rights convention to be ratified by the European Union. And this is not just symbolic. The United Nations regularly assess whether the European Union is complying with the obligations set in the convention. And we know there is room for improvement. We are part of this UN convention not because we are perfect, but because we know that we still have a long way to go. And this is why next year we will present a new strategy on the rights of persons with disabilities, a strategy for change. Our goal is a union of equality, a union where everyone can enjoy the same rights and opportunities, where we are all equal with all our differences, a continent where we can finally be united in diversity. Thank you.